Hey buddies, welcome to Mass Games, my name is Simon, and today we're going to set up, play and review the game Ingenious by Dr. Rainer Knizia, the strategy game for all the family. Now, this is sold over 800,000 copies, it might look familiar because I did, back in the day, right at the beginning, do some videos related to Axio, which is also by the designer, it very much re-implemented this original game. A lot more simpler in some respects to play, um, that's Axio in particular. Uh, this is a game which is an abstract strategy game for two to four players. If you want to see more videos to do with uh, Dark Dwayne Eclipsia, he's made over 700 games, please check them out on the channel under his playlist. There's also had a set up play and review playlist, the Amass Games playlist, the abstract strategy playlist amongst many others. Every player is going to take six tiles like this. And on your first turn, ultimately in this game where you're trying to get the most points to win, you're going to take one of your tiles and place it out. So you could place it out like this, then you're going to score yourself points next to where you are. Now, in this case, everyone's going to take one of these with a peg as well, so a peg for each colour, and you'll score what you're placing next to. You do not score um, what you are placing. So you do not score for yellow, you do not score for green, but you do score what you're next to. So you'll take your yellow peg and move it up one, so everything's going to start from a zero position. You'll score yourself one point. Now in that first round, everybody is going to be playing against one of these outer symbols. So somebody else might have a purple, and of course at the end of your turn you will be drawing up. So somebody else will draw a tile from their hand, a tile of six, and maybe they want to place this. So again, they only score what's already there, and they score themselves one point. So they've done that. Obviously I'll suddenly put up the rest of these out for my game two. Somebody else takes their turn if it's a three-player game or a four-player game, etc. And then it's back to my turn. Now, if in a two-player game, you're only playing in the white zone, if you happen to be playing with a three-player game, you're playing with the light greys available to you as well. And if you're playing a four-player game, you're playing with these darker zones as well. So everything is available to you. Now, the score at the end will be wherever your back marker is. So if everything's right up towards the end, but you've got one on zero or one or something, your score is one point. So it's my turn. I can place this here. So you can place this here and Orange would score three points. Now you can play this as solo as well. If you want to see how a solo playthrough for Axio, please check that out as well. Again, it's a game of beating your own score. Now imagine it's still my turn or whatever it might be. What you're doing is playing your cardinal points. So what I mean by that is with something like this, which is quite a handy tile to pick out, I will be scoring one, two, one. So score two for Orange, one for purple, and the game goes on like this until eventually you can't go necessarily. Lastly, if you ever reach the end, so imagine orange reaches the very end, you say ingenious, you get an extra go, so you can move something else along too, whichever you then place out. And at the end of the turn, you'll pick up and draw your hand to complete. I like the game, I give it a 6 out of 10, very nice pieces, um, nice colorations, everything's a different color, as well as a different shape. Uh, in particular, for each different shape, there's a different color, each different color is a different shape. My negative about this is the fact you might not draw what you need. If you don't draw any purples or you don't need blues, whatever it might be, and you're stuck, you are stuck for the rest of the game, which is why Axio is a better game, because you have pyramids, which whenever there's an okay, isolated zone, so if there's nothing, go here, because something's gone here and here. So let's say like this, and I don't know, like that. In Axio, a pyramid means you'll score everything next to it. Also, it's a bit more fiddly because you're trying to work out a maximum score, so do I want to place this you know, here, do you want to place it here? Obviously, what's going to score you more? So that's something to be aware of. So I do prefer Axio. I think they did the right job of going for a two by one configuration rather than these hexagonal pieces as well. Still interesting, it's still by Cosmos. I've yet to do a Cosmos playlist yet. Um, but yeah, that has been the game in Genius. Like I said, that luck factor without the pyramids is a, a no-no for me, quite frankly. And it is tricky sometimes to get it really nice and flush in the box too. So that has been the review a setup plan review for the game Ingenious. More videos coming soon onto the channel. Please ensure you hit the notification bell and like button. Let me know in the comments on YouTube is best. And via the description, you can support the channel via Patreon. There's also things via 2,500 posts on Instagram. And please do like over on Facebook. Well, for now, back to the table.